Alright guys, welcome to the first episode of A Day in the Life of a Delivery Courier Driver. Right now, I'm just stepping out of my uh, estate complex over in the US. It would be known as a project. Uh, pretty interesting actually because the estate that I live in is right in the middle of London. It's in central London, it's one of the safest areas um, of London five minutes away to ten minutes away from all the anything that's anything in London is somewhere around here. or certainly you can get easy access to from where I live so in this episode what I would like to do is first of all just um, kind of show you the basics of what I do um, and also kind of just show you how you can play Pokemon Go while working a job like this um, which is basically what I do when I work for uh, Uber Eats there's two companies that I work for that I'm contracted for so one of them is Uber Eats and uh, where while they do the same thing they both just food delivery services they, the system is slightly different Long story short, with Uber Eats, I am uh, more or less free to work whenever I want and to stop working whenever I want, as long as I'm not in the middle of an order. Once I receive an order and accept it, I have to finish that off. But other than that, I am free to log out whenever I want. Whereas with the other company, Deliveroo, I have to stick to the shifts that I've um, signed up for. So if I sign up for a six to nine shift, I can't leave, um, I can't log out of the app until I finish the shift essentially that's kind of like how it works so I prefer to play Pokemon Go while I'm working Uber Eats because it gives me more freedom if there is like a especially now with the new update if there is a raid or if there is um, anything else like a really good spawn or anything you know, interesting going on then I can just you know log out and go ahead and do it now let me just present you my bike over here my work partner my very loyal work partner has been with me for a while only ever betrayed me uh, once and that was uh, about a few months ago when I told you I had an accident uh, and that's it and that is my work bag that's where I put the food quite simple and straightforward really a lot of you will probably already have this service or similar kind of services in your city anyway um, so I suppose it's not new to many of you but some of you will probably be new to this thing entirely I mean just bear in mind that even in a city like London uh, this service only uh, started about uh, it was about four years ago for Deliveroo and uh, Uber Eats started just last year. I, I, I signed up for Uber Eats uh, as soon as they started. How's you feel? This was quite a long ride, so it's not very um, 
representative of what I have to do on a daily basis. It's not usually this hard, uh, but sometimes, uh, especially in Uber Eats, you do get orders that are uh, quite far out from where you are. Right, guys, so I just uh, finished my first drop off. Going to click confirm, go to the intended recipient, rate the how the delivery went, it went well, and it's done. Complete trip, the trip's been completed. So that's basically how my job works um, essentially. This is like the basics, one on one kind of what you do um, with the app. See, I've now got another order. I click that, tap here to accept it. It, don't, it will then calculate how to get there. Tell me the name of the restaurant. So it's McDonald's, Liverpool Street again. It's a Sunday morning. It's just before 12 now, so it makes a lot of sense. A lot of people, you know, been on nights out, hangovers, probably spent a lot of money. Don't have much now to um, spend on food. Probably not really in the mood to cook either. So they just basically order some McDonald's. McDonald's is actually only recently added on to um, the, um, the menu of uh, places that we deliver to. Uh, and it never used to be there before. Um, but I think it's a great thing as a rider because it just gives us a whole lot more work. Like we get so much orders from McDonald's alone now that we might as well work for them to be honest. <laughs> guys I'm gonna immediately check discord now and see what's happening for raids it is a Sunday afternoon hopefully there should be a lot going on uh, and at the moment I'm in Marlebon which is should be WC technically so I'm gonna check I'm just gonna check the WC channel see if there is anything going on at the moment and yes it does seem like there is a lot going on uh, let me just quickly read this and I don't know why somebody's talking about Ealing. It's, it's like that's like deep West London. Nothing to do with West Central. Um, somebody talking about Lambeth. Yeah. So a lot of people kind of just talk about whatever they want in these channels. Waterloo. That's also not WC. Um, Boxer Bridge. I tend to be really picky because uh, I know London really well, and uh, you cannot really fool me about where's what. Now my battery is also really low guys, so if it does shut off then I'll be sure to um, get you guys up to speed with what I've done um, on a later video that I'll probably record when I get home with my DSLR. So I hope the footage wasn't too bad, I ho hopefully you've heard uh, what I've been saying. I'll only be finding that out myself later when I get home and watch this footage. Um, so yeah. Let's check what Team Mystic is doing. Um, a lot of people are just talking about Central London, let's see. Okay, Articuno, Tottenham Core Road. Just under two hours left on it. Cool. Okay, that's it. That's where I'm going to go. There is where I'm going to go. 
And then I'll just go here, but I can't see anyone around. I've got 20 minutes before I'm running a meeting back in Clarendon. Uh, here, Tottenham Court Road. Okay, so that was in only about 10 minutes ago. Alright, I could definitely get there, guys, so let's go. <laughs> Customer will talk, sometimes they will just open a door for you automatically. It's just the way it goes, sometimes they're just not in the mood. So. Alright, so you get to see a lot of suave places in this job, especially working in central London where I work. Thankfully, most of them have lifts. So it's never too much of a, of a hard job, really. The, the, the main part is riding, that's what that's where you need to focus and the service is the most enjoyable part I love seeing smile faces um, you know just happy people really just making people happy I mean it's, it's just great I mean who wouldn't um, the restaurants are sometimes hard, harder to deal with um, than the customers actually uh, which is kind of strange but yeah um, I'll probably fulfill you into that about, about that in the next one, it's not this floor, it's not this one floor. Um, but yeah, I will, I will take you guys through all of that um, 
on a different episode. Firstly, I just want to see what you guys think of this series, really. That's my main priority right now. Uh, and also, I will be kind of showing you from next week, seeing as the legendaries, the birds, legendaries, but birds, uh, raids are finished. I will be making like a quick recap video of like what I have. I will be showing you guys what I managed to catch and what I haven't managed to catch, which I'm not gonna diverge to you guys yet. I wanna keep that for that next video. Um, so you can definitely look forward to that as well. Uh, thank you for watching guys. I'm now gonna get back on to the athletics, catch up on all of that. And um, I'll see you guys next week.